Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about how I transfer money from Uphold to my Ledger device. And so what you see on the screen at the moment, this is my Uphold account. I have invested uh, in several different coins. And the thing is, I don't 100% trust uh, these online portals. My money is in a digital wallet somewhere inside this company. And based on you know what's happened into some of the exchanges over the past uh, few quarters, then I think it's safer to you know to keep control of my own wallet. So a friend of mine told me about the ledger devices, and this is my device. What it is? Uh, this is a USB that is connected to my computer. It has like this digital screen that you can see, and it basically uh, this allows me to control my digital wallet. And then if this ever gets lost, it comes with uh, 24 words that are considered your password. And you can use those 24 words to recreate your account whenever you want in a different USB computer, etc. And so it comes with this type of document. Uh, and I have written the 24 words here on this side. And I can use them for you know duplicating or replicating sorry, my USB into another computer. And so now with this, I find, you know, that I can control uh, the destiny of my own wallet and my money, etc. instead of leaving it there in the cloud for some hacker to go and pick it up, etc. So let me show you now how I now move the money from Uphold into my own digital wallets. So this is my account, right? And as you can see, I have a couple of them that have more money than the others. I have about $200 in XLM and $175 in ADA. And I want to transfer them into my digital wallet in my device. So this is Ledger Life. Um, as you can, this is installed in my computer. And this is the thing that is connected to the USB. And as you can see here, I have uh, already, uh, this is my portfolio, some coins here. Um, and I want to transfer more coins here. I like this. Uh, I like Ledger because it also comes with all these options on the left-hand side that allow you to do several things. This video is not so much about strategy. I have another video for that in my channel. But what I do is uh, once a month, I come here and I check. For example, these are the coins that have grown the most over the past month, right? And I also check, you know, sometimes on a weekly basis, and then I invest $50 or $25 in some of these coins. So let me show you now what the process is. The first thing you have to do is you come here to where it says my ledger. Now it's blocked. I need to unblock it, you know, using this couple of keys. Okay, that's it. And now if I just click retry. Now you can see inside my USB, it allows you to install several different uh, wallet types or accounts, as they call it, right? So I want to do XLM and ADA. So if I say XLM, you can see this one is already installed. If I do ADA, it's already installed as well. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you go into accounts and now you have installed that software inside the USB, but the next thing is you need to create the account. So the accounts are created here. You just click on that account and you would come here and say, for example, uh, XRP. And you would select this one. I've already done it. So I have an account for this already, which is this one. And then this one is ADA and this one is XLM. Okay. Now, the next thing is uh, we want to go now into receive. And here is where you basically will get uh, the digital address for the money that you are going to transfer. So if I say, Let's start with the first one. The first one will be uh, XLM. So I'll come here and I'll say XLM. So you'll say, I want to transfer. The way to read this is the following. You'll say, you'll say I want to transfer money from my XLM account into my digital wallet, right? So for this, I want to use what's called the network. And usually I try to use the same network. So you'll read a lot of stuff on the internet about problems if you don't select the right network. So be careful with this. So I'm going to use uh, the Stellar network, which is the same, as you can see, the same logo. So I pick this one and then the, the amount, right? So another thing that you will have to pay attention here is you will not be allowed to transfer 
229.70. I don't really know why they, you know, there is a fee that you have to pay, so that has to be taken into consideration. But I'll say 229. You see the balance 20, 227, so I'll say 227. 220, I'll say 225. So I want to transfer $225 from my account in Uphold to my using the network into my digital wallet. And I'll say withdraw. So here we need to give it the address. So for this, we have to select the XLM one, which is this one here. It gives you, you know, it tells you to use the right uh, uh, network and to just put it in the right account. So that's already selected. That's fine. Continue. Now I need to make a validation, clicking this couple of buttons here. So I'll say, um, okay. And as you can see, now it gives me an address. So I'm going to copy this address and I'll paste it. Okay. And the next thing uh, you can see here, there is a memo. So some of these uh, wallets and transfers uh, force you to include some additional memos and notes. That's a bit, you know, complicated for me as well. So what I do in this case, I go to the internet and I really pay attention to this. So here Ledger is telling us that if you need to transfer money from, you know, from a hole, for example, into Ledger, it says um, you can pick any tag, for example, a random number from zero to whatever without any specific number being necessary. So I usually try to put the date. So I come here and I'll just say, uh, in this case, today is the 23rd, so we'll say 23rd. 11.24, okay? And now we hit uh, confirm. Confirm the withdrawal. So I'll put the number here, okay? So now this is processing. And once it's done, we should see the money landing in my account, in my computer. So, okay, got it. Sometimes you have to wait up to a minute. Uh, what I do is also I can come here and as you can see, it says, withdrawing some money from uh, XLM using the Stellar network into my uh, address. And we just have to wait until this is done. Okay, so now I refresh the page and as we can see, the money has already been sent to $125. And if we come back here, so this is a bit scary because you know the money is traveling from one place to another and you want to make sure that it lands in the appropriate account and you have not made any mistakes, but uh, hopefully everything is okay and we see the money uh, arriving into my account. And that's it. So now the money has arrived and we can see the increase here in the balance. Okay, so now I want to do the second one, which is ADA. So I say receive. I want to receive ADA, which is the Cardano one. Please only send ADA and native tokens to Cardano accounts, send other crypto assets, la la. Okay, continue. Now I can confirm the transaction using the device. I click this and this is for ADA. So we'll say from my ADA account, using the Cardano network. In this case, I'm gonna send $10 first instead because I see other type of keys in my USB device. I don't know what they are for. I just don't want to make a mistake with the full amount. So I'm gonna test with $10 and hope for the best. So from this account into Cardano network, yes, $10. Confirm, yes. Confirm. As you can see here, the fees are a bit higher. It's $1, but I think for the first time I'm doing this, it's worth because I just don't know what these other combinations are. They ask you why you are doing these transfers and usually say that I'm sending it to my own wallet. And continue. And also verification from cell phone. Okay, so now it's processing. Okay, and as we can see here, it's uh, being sent. This should now say 785 when it lands here.
while we wait, we can talk about the rest of the coins. So some of these coins are not available as an account yet inside uh, the device. And so I'll have to keep them here for now. And then in the future, if those accounts become available, I'll move them progressively. But I'm trying to move everything into my own wallet from now on. And also from uh, the device itself, I can go and buy uh, additional coins from here. So that's what I'll be doing from now on. If we synchronize again, that's it. Now we can see that uh, it has landed here. Uh, we have the money that I transferred. That's correct. So I'm ready now to send the rest. Uh, I hope you like this video and this channel. If so, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Feel free to send me any comments and talk to you soon.